Hi, it's Yifan here. Um, I'm here today for a very interesting chat with Stuart. Stuart is the manager or person in charge of the whole of the UK and we've come to see how the Flexcom dash wheat, uh, wheat terminals are working now and I'm very, very impressed. Hi Stuart, how are you? I'm really good, thanks Yifan. So today, uh, Stuart is going to show us on both the pulse terminals on his phone and also the terminal itself, how it actually works on cashback and even paying with cash. So that's what we were interested in. Go on, Stuart, it's all yours now. Okay, thanks, Ethan. So basically, when it comes to the merchants, they've got two options around how they can put this into the market. So they can download for 99 euros an app which they can put on either a smartphone or they can put on a tablet, their own tablet, either Android or Apple. And that be, makes, basically means that they can get involved at a really low cost and they can put that software on their own, on their own hardware. So it makes it a really great entry level pricing for the retailer, really low risk, it's only 99 euros and they get started with a fantastic solution. So that's the entry level price. We still have though the POS terminals. So the POS terminal or the KTM machines that are out there in the market, those are still relevant. The reason why is they get a higher commission. They get double the commission on one of these machines versus one of the POS app downloads. So businesses will see the value in that, not necessarily straight away, but once they start issuing more cards or more apps down to their customers. So whilst day one they can get involved for 99 euros, they will absolutely want to purchase KTM machines or the, the full price POS terminal, which the full price of that is £600. And so there's still, if you like, a gap in the market for us, a uh, price point to be offering these KTM machines at a, at, a, at a useful price in the market for us to get a return. Not just on the upfront cost, but also obviously if it's a KTM terminal as part of the, the ongoing commission you earn through that machine. So that's the first thing to say. I think what we can now do is I can then show you how we do a cash back transaction. Oh, that's fantastic. That's what we were waiting for now. Uh, the other interesting point is that uh, on the cash back, before the cash back was working, but what we couldn't do is use our cash back to buy things as well. So that's very interesting. I saw that working today, so it's phenomenal. And uh, what Stuart's going to do is going to show us how it does it. Go on, Stuart. Okay, so now it really doesn't make any difference which one I use here. So I'm just going to. Basically, let's put that to one side and uh, just show you the main terminal. So we'll come in here and go start checkout. You can see the whole branding of the app has changed. This is all now branding around we and we economy. So that's the, the name that the customers see and that's the, the customer facing brand for the business. So behind the scenes, we still have uh, Flexcom, if you like, giving, uh, you know, developing the technology and we also have Flexcom providing the sales team, but the customer facing brand is all economy and we. So we're gonna come along here and do a transaction. So let's just make it like a one pound transaction. If you look at the bottom, you can see you can either collect with the app or collect with a card, but also you can pay with the app and pay with the card. So first up, we're just gonna collect with the app. So we click on that one there and that will then bring on the QR code. And then I'm gonna then open up my uh, app and the app here allows me to click on collect. So if I click on collect, it brings up the, um, the video reader on the app and I'll simply hold that over and that will just scan that and that will process the transaction. So I will now get uh, cash back put onto my app and that just takes a few seconds to process. Um, there's some great new features coming through as well soon where if the customer is offline it will still process the transaction. And I've seen that technology work and it's not quite live yet on the app, but that's coming soon too. So it's going to get better and better. So here you can see it says I've received the cashback transaction and that's confirmed as well on the terminal. If I go through to my account and just show you how that looks and I'll just refresh it. If you look there, it shows £1.88. Can you see that on the screen? Yeah. If I refresh that, it will then process that. Now you can see I've got cashback there. The transaction has given me 10% cashback on that £1. So you can see that's gone up to £1.98. And if I click down here, we can see the transaction and it shows you the date time of that transaction all coming through properly. That's phenomenal. Okay, that's great. So the final thing to show here then is to show that we can pay with the app as well. Absolutely. So if you think I've got £1.98 on here, what I'm going to do is just go back here and I'm going to do a transaction and I'm going to say, right, it's a £1 transaction. This time I'm going to pay with the app. 
Okay. Now the thing to bear in mind here, Fen, is that I'm going to pay with the app, but I'm also going to get cash back. Yep. So there's two transactions that are going to go on. That's right. One pound's going to come out of my account, and 10p is going to come back. So what you're doing is you're paying with your cash back at the same time, you're getting a commission straight back to you as well. Yes, and I'm, so I'm getting the so cash back. all in back. one loop, right? All in one loop, that's two separate transactions. And obviously all the commission structure on this flows from this too. So when I look in my back office, I can see commission calculations on the individual transactions calculated to at least five decimal places. And I can see that at individual transaction level. So this is phenomenal in terms of how this is working and it's working all exactly as it should. Absolutely, that's what we want. Come exactly. on, I'm all excited now. So let's go here, we'll put one pound in, we'll say pay with the app. Right. So that's gonna pull that together there. I'm gonna go on my phone like I did before and I'm gonna bring up the, uh, the, the card reader. And so let's show you that. So I'm gonna put that over the top here and let's hover that over. Multitasking is not very good. There we are, so that's now showing that transaction. So that's gonna process that transaction. And you can see it's now saying that's going through. It's still gonna collect the cash back like before, but if you remember, that was £1.98. It was. So I'm gonna be paying a pound and getting 10p back. So that shows me the transaction's gone through. If I go back to my account now, see, £1.98, let's refresh it and see what happens. It should take £1 off, so it would go down to 98p, and then it will give 10p back, so it will then go back up to £1.8. Let's see what happens. There you go, £1.8. So that whole transaction went through exactly as I described, and if I click on there, you can see again that I've basically got that transaction gone through. You can see it's given me 10, 10 pence, on that one pound transaction. Absolutely great. So, in terms of the technology, the app, um, to recap, um, the business can have uh, both a POS download or they can have the full POS terminal and there's different commission structures associated with that and that's why they'll still want a POS terminal. Um, the great thing here, if they've got the POS terminal sitting on a smartphone, suddenly um, that could be used by um, people in the restaurant trade where the individual servers have the software on a, on a phone. It could also be used by taxi drivers. There's so many different applications here. It's really brilliant. It gives, it gives a lot of flexibility. Um, the other thing here as well, and I've not really shown you this, but is that we can also use cards here. So we have now the, the CCC concept, and the CCC concept is basically where the business or organizations, could be any type of organization, can purchase cards, and these cards can be given to customers and used as part of making a transaction. And you can see there's a number of different types of cards here. We're going to be organizing training very soon on the 6th of July, Monday the 6th of July, where we'll be training up every team member in the UK who wants to have that training. We'll train them up on how they can sell these cards and become a CCC agent. And this is really great because the, the, the this method here will guarantee customers getting put into the marketplace. And there's a lot of value here to organizations because they can create a branded version of that card. And these cards are phenomenal because not only will there be a branded version on the card, but that branding will also be mirrored on the app. And oh. that means when someone logs in, they'll see that company brand on their app. When they share the app with their friend, the brand will pass from one friend to the next. Oh, so good. from, a, from a, custom, a customer's perspective, it's great because they'll, that, that, that branding will pass from card to card. Obviously, from a retailer's point of view, that's phenomenal because they're getting advertising that's going to extend beyond their existing customer base. So some really, really powerful features here. Like I said, if I'm, we're going to have some training on the 6th of July. Every team member will be eligible to come to this, to this meeting. They'll hear the latest UK strategy. They'll see this technology working live. And we'll also have training there for people to become CCC agents. The training we're going to organise in London, it's going to be in Heathrow on the Bath Road in Heathrow, which is right next to Heathrow Airport. So that's on the 6th of July, Monday the 6th of July. It'll be a full day's training. And we really want as many people from the UK to come to this as possible because you will just not believe how far forward this whole concept's come. The original vision that many of us had in 2013 and maybe even earlier is now being delivered and it's now a reality. I've seen the back office in my own back office, I've also seen the system around how all this system's been pulled together. The great thing here is when someone goes to a business and they earn cash back, it instantly puts cash back on their phone or on their card. There's no manual processing, it all happens perfectly. That's great, Stuart. Um, I've had a fantastic day with you today. I've uh, 
although I've been involved with it for a long time, but today is the first time I can hold my hands up and say, right, Flexcom and We Economy has delivered. Uh, we've got a new manager in charge of the whole of UK with Stuart. I think we all have to be positive and take it forward. We've paid a lot of money into buying GTMs and franchises. I think it's important that we renew. That's the other thing. We need to renew our uh, IBIS licenses because I think we've got till the end of this month. End of this month. I mean, basically, when we came on board as GTMs, there was a license that was, I think, 149 euros that was incorporated into the GTM license. And Flexcom should have been charging this annually ever since. And they haven't done that, and for a variety of reasons. But now it's all working. What they want to be doing is draw a line under the past, and they want people to be renewing that license. And now instead of charging 149 euros, they're basically charging one time 99 euros, and that will cover people for almost two years. It will cover people until the 14th of April 2017, so almost two years from now. So anybody really who's invested time and money and effort to get this far who still believes in the vision and wants to to realize that vision and realize that the, what you're seeing in front of you today you need to be paying that 99 euros um, you've got until the end of the month if you have um, haven't logged into the back office for a while you may find you need to reset your password and stuff like that but go to your back office renew that 99 euro ebiz it will cover you for the next two years and it will keep this opportunity open for you. So even if you want to just see what happens over the next couple of months, fine. But make sure you keep that option open because once once that, uh, once that you get to the end of this month, the risk is that you're going to lose your account because you haven't renewed your EBIS. You see, Stuart, the thing is, right, uh, we've had a fin... I was... I was into I was sold Flexcom about three four years ago, and from those people who know me, uh, I've been involved with Flexcom with my head deep in it. Now the first time I can sit here and say, right, we're moving now. Those people who have paid a lot of money, I think to pay 99 euros now and renew it, renew it. Those people who are interested in moving forward, please don't hesitate to get in touch with Stuart or myself. Uh, I'm going to be pushing on with the Midlands now for the first time. I've got a guy who is going to be totally behind us. And if there's any information or questions, he can answer. He will answer. And we just go forward from here and now. And thank you, Stuart, for having a great uh, having me here today. I'm in You're Newark. Welcome. And we're at the Christmas, uh, not Christmas festival. I'm a bit too early for that. <laughs> it's the, kind of the Newark festival, isn't it? That's right. It's the Newark right. festival. And, right. and, and Stuart's going to be based here for the next three days, uh, Friday, sa sorry, Saturday and Sunday. So if anybody wants to come to the Newark Festival, please feel free. He's right in the center of Newark, uh, in the square, and he's going to be doing his We Economy and telling people they can get their cashbacks because he's selling. He's not selling, but I think Frank is doing a phenomenal Greek restaurant meal, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, Frank and also Michael Katori from the Yamas, one of our businesses and We Partners in, in Nottingham. And uh, we're going to be here for until Sunday, as you say. We Economy are actually sponsoring the carnival as well. So there's all sorts of things we're doing to get more exposure in the market. And anybody who downloads the Wii app, um, so the Wii app, which replaces the Flex app, um, if you download the Wii app and you go to Newark, you'll see we've got a pin in the map where we're actually located. So just find that pin, it's an orange pin, and uh, you know, by all means, anybody who's uh, in the Midlands and wants to come and see what we're doing, we've got a whole team here this weekend from all over the country, from Newcastle all the way down to Bristol and Brighton. So okay. you know, you're That's more great. than welcome. That's great, Stuart. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ethan.